Today on Tracy's Basement, we're unboxing the Villains Collector's Case. Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before. Today we have collector's case. It is the villain's case. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Love cool. me some villains. Who doesn't love the villains? The villains, a hero is nothing without his villains, exactly. right? So this should be a lot of fun. I got my coffee. It's first thing in the morning. Super fun way to start the morning with my favorite box that we get. Definitely so. our favorite box. Collector's case is $25 US plus shipping. Every box has chances for extra drops, including a possible celebrity autograph, or you can get their sure thing case, which guarantees everything. And depending on month per month, it varies it in goes, price. Yeah, it's varies. usually 55 to 65. It's 65 bucks, uh, I think is like the average now. Yeah. And they, you know, you get some good celebrity names in there too, some signed eight by tens. This so. particular box, the villain's box, the celebrity autograph is Jason Isaacs. And I think they teased a uh, Harry Potter picture of him yeah, that he they signed had him with his like uh, prisoner yeah. from Azkaban holding up the number. Harry Potter is, is more your thing so if this box has a lot of Harry Potter in it it's probably gonna be more for you. Harry Potter's not really for me but I guess we'll break out the shredder because yeah, he's a villain too. Right? This is true. Actually, it's been a while since I said the shredder. It isn't seems it, like it. Have you been I, forgetting? I don't know or have we just not been really doing a lot of boxes lately? I don't know. Art show. Let's see what's in the villain's box, and like we always say. The lovely collector's case paper, of course, covering everything else. I love when companies do that. Okay, just a little simple thing. The shirt's on top, so let's see. What do we got on the shirt, Trace? <laughs> we have Spy vs. Spy. Oh, hey, that's cool. That's kind of a cute design, actually. So you got the white and the black, and he's got a bomb, and he's got dynamite. Very funny. Very spy cool. Oh, spy yeah. Awesome. I grew up with Spy vs. Spy. That was cool. I used to read that in the Mad Magazines all the time. Yeah, for sure. I, I, was... I can honestly say that's something I wouldn't have expected. No, <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. That's what, is this my size? I think it is your size. Actually. I'm going to rock that for sure. Very oh, yeah. Cool. Very I, cool. I love Mad Magazine Spy vs. Spy. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like that. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, look. We got the mystery pop. We did this get month. a mystery pop this month, so we'll set that aside for yeah, later. Put that aside. The next thing in the box is <laughs> there's the trading cards. Breaking bad trading cards this month. That's so, pretty funny. <laughs> let's see. Can you get anything? Look for wardrobe and autograph cards. Very interesting. Okay. Well, let's see if we got them. Okay. So I've got one called Leverage. That's a pretty cool scene. We've got Hank's new assistant. We've got Cash Drive. Tuco's Madness and dealing with Lydia. So I got a bunch of scenes in my pack. They were all packed together pretty good. They were all stuck together. Yeah, they are very <laughs> stuck a, together. I got The Fly. I loved that episode. You wouldn't know because you didn't watch it because you're terrible. But The Fly, that was pretty cool. I got Vengeance. I got Wait, Walt's Gambling Problem. I got Chemotherapy. <laughs> it's just a, I got a Chemotherapy trading card. That's a little bit more. That's just that's something like that. <laughs> And I totally got gypped. I got a checklist. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, pretty fun, pretty fun, pretty fun. Okay, what else do we got? What is this, Tracy? This is a Mighty Wallet. <laughs> oh, Mighty Wallet. Okay. We've gotten several Mighty Wallets in subscription boxes. I might actually use this one. This is pretty cool. It's got Deathstroke and Harley Quinn on it. Oh, cool. And it's actually very nice artwork. So that's pretty cool. These Mighty Wallets, basically, you're supposed to be able to... Do whatever you want. Yeah, you, you can't like, break them. Pull on them and, and try to rip them and stuff. And, and you I've can't tried. Rip them. You cannot rip these. You have. You've <laughs> tried cool. on camera, actually, and, and it, uh, it didn't go. Okay, what else do we got here? We've got. What is this? Oh, cool. Chess collector. Neat. Chess collection. Is that like a little? If these are no. These are collectible DC figures you can get that are chess pieces. Uh, oh. And each character, you know, has their different, like, some are pawns, right? Uh, like, the lesser known characters are pawns, and then you got your kings, your rooks, all that stuff. Um, we've got Lex Luthor. That's pretty neat. So that's pretty cool. He must be, like, the king or something, is he? Uh, he he's, yeah, it looks like it. It looks like he might be king, like, yeah, yeah. Play, uh, like, villains and hero sides and stuff like that. Uh, he might be a king there, but. That's kind of neat. That is, that is really cool. I'd love to have a whole chess I, set of. I've seen these uh, 
I've seen these on the toy stores and stuff a lot, and they they do look really cool. This is the first time I've actually seen one uh, in person, so yeah, I like that. That's really cool. That's neat. That's gonna look cool on the shelf. All right, and we've got oh we've got a pop, and it is Lucius Malfoy oh. from Harry Potter. Just makes sense. <laughs> He's the villain, right? It's pretty awesome, and I don't actually have this pop, so that's pretty cool. I do have some uh, Harry Potter pops, but not this particular one. There is Lucius with his long blonde hair, and he's kind of got the half-closed, he's angry. <laughs> he's got the black robes, and he's holding his uh, staff or walking stick or whatever you want to call it that has the snake at the top. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's going to go very nicely with my other Harry Potter box. So is, is he the uh, Jason Isaacs character? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. I uh, thought so. See, I know a little bit. I know a little, a little bit, bit okay? A little bit. I'm not I'm not bad. I know a little <laughs> bit. I did try it. I didn't just say, oh, Harry Potter, stupid. I tried it. It just wasn't for me. But I get the fandom. It's huge. We got Forever Evil. Number one, the new, the new 52. 52. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, uh... That's pretty cool there. cover there. New uh, Forever Evil. Is this like just a villain? Oh, look, it's all done in like sketch art. That's pretty neat. All right, cool. So on the front, it's like it's color, but it's coming back into black and white sketch, and then inside, it's all sketch. So that's yeah, that's pretty neat. That's very cool. I'll give that a read. Director's cut. Meet the <laughs> New World Order. Director's cut. Very cool. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, and we've got oh, a pop protector. Like I said, sometimes they send pop protectors. Every now and then so they'll throw the pop protector cool. in there. I don't care about box damage or stuff like that. I, I think it's crazy to be that insane over a, a $10 toy. But, you know, some people like it, I guess. <laughs> so. And there's the spoiler card. So that's everything. So you want to see what the mystery pop is? Okay. No autograph this month, obviously. No, no autograph. <laughs> so who is this? This looks familiar. That oh. is Teen Wolf. <laughs> it is... <laughs> Scott McCall as a werewolf. Very cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen this. I haven't seen Teen Wolf either. Uh, they got funny eyes on them though. Look at that. He's got very funny eyes. Bright red with the dot in the middle. That's kind of cool looking actually. <laughs> there he is. That's actually kind of a neat pop. Yeah, kind <laughs> actually, of a neat pop. I like his uh, the big sideburns coming yeah. down and the kind of bumpy face and his fangs and everything. And his eyes are really creepy. Yeah. I don't watch Teen Wolf so I, I don't really... No. care but I, i'll probably trade him off for something else or something like that but as far as a pop yeah. goes he, he's uh he's not badly done no i will admit i like the eyes the eyes yeah. are pretty cool the eyes are kind of neat <laughs> especially Guys. when so many pop eyes are just well they all black circles, they right? all look like sharks exactly every pop looks like a like a shark it looks as soulless shark eyes so when you get one that doesn't have the shark eyes it it, it really stands out it does <laughs> so. it stands out quite a lot <laughs> We get the spoiler card here, and this is just an ad for their popped box, where they send you four random pops. You have no idea what they are. You sign up, and you get them for a discount. Uh, four mint ones and a t-shirt for 30 bucks, and four not mint boxes and a t-shirt for 15 bucks. So if you don't care about boxes, it's kind of a good way to get some cheap pops. And for the box, we had the Lucius Malfoy with the pop protector they sent. <laughs> The Forever Evil Director's Cut comic, Cryptozoic uh, trading cards from Breaking Bad, the Mighty Wallet, we've got the chess collection piece you could have gotten Lex Luthor or Death Deadshot. Ooh, that'd be cool too. Deadshot would have been really cool too. There was the t-shirt of course, and you could have gotten the autograph and there were two different pictures there. For next month's upcoming case we have July featuring Emma Caulfield and the uh, theme is vampires and bunnies, vampires which I just find bunnies. hysterical. I had to have that one explained <laughs> to me, but after it was explained to me, it made sense. Yeah. And the following month for August, we have Cosmos, and it's featuring Walter Kun... Kun I can't say Walter his name. Walter I can't say his last name either, but <laughs> he's the Kony? original Chekhov. Yeah. And that would be really cool to have. I would love to have the original there Chekhov. There you go. So. Very cool. Two very awesome, uh, interesting cases yeah. coming up. That's very awesome. So that was the collector's case, villain's case. What was your favorite item in the box? I like the Lex, but I'm gonna have to go with the shirt. I, I like the Spy vs. Spy shirt. The I, shirt is pretty neat. I'm gonna, yeah, that's my favorite item is the shirt this month. I like the shirt. I actually think I'm going to go with the Lex chest piece because I just think that's neat. And yeah. I think it's cute little... They're both, well, they're both very, very cool. Uh, I'm going with the shirt though. <laughs> <laughs> of course, let us know what you guys thought of the box and what your favorite item was. Comment down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement, Jason from DB on Twitter, and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye!